Yes, good morning. My name is Eric Sanders of the Sands Firm PC, and I want to talk about Fourth Amendment as a res with respect to police officers. You may know or you may not know um, that there are exceptions to the Fourth Amendment. People are under the false belief that police officers always have to receive a warrant for your arrest. In other words, they have to have probable cause to believe that you committed a crime, or even probable cause to search your premise or your person. That's a misnomer. There are seven exceptions to the Fourth Amendment, and I'm going to discuss them in just some brief summary of what they are. You have the first one, which is search incidental to lawful arrest. Essentially, that means the police officers can search the grabble area once you're under arrest. That means your pockets, maybe your bags that are attached to the unlocked. That's search incidental to lawful arrest. The next one is what the, what's called a plain view doctrine. In other words, the plain view doctrine allows the police officer to look in areas as long as they're not searching them per se, and if they see any contraband in their plain view, which means their eyesight, then they can seize it and even arrest you based upon the plain view doctrine. And there's a slight variation of the plain view. It's an open view. The same concept applies if the police look in your window. That's called open view. Then you have A, which is the auto exception. The auto exception essentially allows the police officers to search your car based upon some information that your vehicle may be holding a firearm. And that means they could search any part of your vehicle that holds this firearm. So in other words, if it's holding, let's say, a machine gun, they can search any compartment in the vehicle. And as long as, as a general rule, they don't damage the vehicle unless they have an articulable belief to believe that it's somewhere secreted in the vehicle where they will actually have to take parts of the vehicle apart. Then you also have the consent. The consent is probably the weakest uh, exception to a Fourth Amendment because most courts take the position that people not voluntarily consented. That means essentially you're allowing someone to search you based upon saying yes. But that's usually a bad idea because police officers find it very difficult and even the courts find it difficult to believe that someone would allow you to search for information that's going to incriminate them. You have the emergency exception, which basically means, uh, such an example, there's a fire and someone, the police officers can break in your house. And as a result of trying to investigate the fire, they see contraband such as guns or drugs. That would be a, a legal search because the purpose wasn't to find contraband, it was to alleviate the emergency, whatever it was. Then you also have stop, question, and frisk, which is known as CPL 14050 in the state of New York. And essentially that allows police officers to stop, question, and possibly frisk you for any felony or misdemeanor defined in the penal law. And that would allow them to question you and seize contraband if they find it on your person. It does not allow you to search for drugs. And that's very clear. I want to make that very clear. Then you have the hot pursuit doctrine, which is what you see police officers do sometimes. They chase your vehicle, allows you to chase someone into a home, even if it's locked or unlocked, or into a vehicle, or sometimes the adjoining counties, depending on the offense, or even next states. That's the hot pursuit doctrine, as long as they don't lose sight, sight of you. And close pursuit is the same concept. And then the last but not least, you have the inventory search. And basically, the inventory search is an administrative search where the police officers, the concept is that they are to secure and safeguard their property, like say for example, a vehicle comes into the police possession, but during the course of that inventory search, they find some contraband. It can be seized and be used to arrest you if possible. So I hope those tips will let you know that there are exceptions to the Fourth Amendment and to make sure to uh, protect your Fourth Amendment rights. Thank you.